Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. Today is Wednesday, July 13th, 2011. Here are today's top stories. Juliette Lewis and Callum Keith Rennie are both set to star in the upcoming legal drama series, The Firm. Lewis and Rennie will star opposite already cast Josh Lucas, who will play attorney Mitchell McDear. Lewis will play Mitch's sassy and attractive receptionist, while Rennie will play Ray McDear, Mitch's charming yet volatile older brother. Lauren Gurman landed a role on CBS Hawaii Five-O for season two, where she will play an ex-Homeland Security officer tapped by the new governor to join the Five-O team to keep an eye on them. Brian Smith moves to the CW's Gossip Girl, playing an up-and-coming chef named Max. And Monday's seventh season debut of The Closer at 9 p.m. on TNT tallied 7.2 million total viewers, making it Basic Cable's largest drama audience of the year so far. Immediately following at 10 p.m., TNT's second season premiere of Rosolian Isles attracted 6.4 million total viewers. From HBO, the eighth season debut of Curb Your Enthusiasm on Sunday night was the most watched episode of the series in more than seven years, and it posted 1.7 million total viewers at 10 p.m. Sci-Fi's back-to-back scripted series premieres on Monday attracted 2.5 million total viewers. For new series, Alpha's at 10 p.m. At 9 p.m., a third season opener of Warehouse 13 drew 2.3 million total viewers. Also this night, a 4.5 season return of Eureka kicked off its new run with 2.3 million total viewers. Bounce TV set its launch date and time for September 26th at 12 noon Eastern Time. And this fall, PBS debuts a new four-part series, America in Primetime, created to highlight television and how it serves as a lens on American culture. America in Primetime premieres October 30th and will air Sundays through November 20th at 8 p.m. Beginning next week, HGTV will preview five new series during the run of its reality competition series, HGTV Design Star. The five series previews include Selling L.A. on July 18th at 10 p.m., The High Low Project on August 1st at 10 p.m., Donna Decorates Dallas on August 8th at 10 p.m., Dina's Party on August 15th at 10 p.m., and Design on a Dime August 29th at 11.30 p.m. Over on the A&E Network, they will air a special 90-minute second season opener of series Beyond Scared Straight on August 18th at 10 p.m. And six additional episodes of original series Braxton Family Values was ordered by WeTV, taking the episode count to 19 one-hour shows. WeTV is also moving up the premiere date to November 8th at 9 p.m. instead of a 2012 launch. Season 4 of Bravo's The Rachel Zoe Project has moved to September 6th at 10 p.m. Jay Moore will host the new fast-paced debate style show Master Debaters with Jay Moore opening on Fuel TV on September 7th at 10.30 p.m. And last Friday's bridal theme show premieres on TLC delivered 1.7 million total viewers for double episodes of Say Yes to the Dress Bridesmaids from 10 to 11 p.m. Just before 9 to 10 p.m., TLC aired Say Yes to the Dress Atlanta, which brought in 1.4 million total viewers for its debut. Health, wellness, and lifestyle show Dr. Steve launches in national syndication this fall. The half-hour show is hosted by Dr. Steven Salvatore, and it premieres September 17th. And last up today, Tricon Films and Television picked up the international distribution rights for the series Metal Evolution. And that's it for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with executive moves, more on ratings, and some new classified ads, a few other bits and pieces that did not make it into this podcast, and be sure to check out tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. This is a Synopsis Media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled Synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Pahanik. I'm going to have a good day. Even if I make it myself, I'm going to have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. No.
nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.